He's a wanted man for his role in the anti-government protests. But as Sutep Kyoksuban greets his supporters, the adulation is apparent. He's my inspiration. He brings all of us together. Sutep says his aim is to get rid of the influence of ousted Prime Minister Taksin Shinawat. To do that, he wants to replace the government with an unelected body, known as the People's Council. The people we have in Parliament now, they didn't get there through clean elections, they bought their votes. Taksin and pro-Taksin parties have won elections since 2001. But opponents deride his populist policies, which favour the rural poor, as a form of vote-buying. Sutep's vision, however, has alarmed academics who see it as undemocratic. I think this is very uh, unacceptable for those who study and practice what is called democracy in Thailand. Uh, because this proposal is limited to people that uh, depends or uh, agree with him. For more than a week now, anti-government protesters have marched across the capital, occupied government buildings and clashed with police. The same tactics were used in 2010, except then it was supporters of Taksin, angered by what they saw as attempts to prevent pro-Taksin parties from returning to power. The street protests ended only after the army moved in. Sutep, who was then deputy prime minister, had authorized the use of force. More than 90 people were killed, and he's due to be formally charged with murder on December 12 for his role in the crackdown. And while he says he's leading a fight against corruption, his record hasn't been entirely clean. He's been implicated in a land scandal that eventually forced the government to dissolve parliament. But none of this bothers his supporters intent on seeing a change in government. As a veteran politician of 35 years, Sudet Kyoksuban has seen both the winning and losing side of politics. Now he's waging his all on one final battle. But no matter who wins, Thailand's political divide looks set to continue. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.